Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fluffy Toast, and I'm going to be bringing you yet another 1v1 between uh, Juno and Lazy. Uh, Juno is going to be your Zerg, and Lazy will be your Protoss. At... Where... Where are the... You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Okay, well. Um, yes, this is going to be 1v1. The map is Troy. Um... I actually have... N well, I've heard of this map, but I've never seen it before. Turns out there are some gas geysers at your front door. That's cool. Um, yeah, we've got a Zerg vs. Protoss here on tr Troy. Uh, I'm fairly sure it's Troy. It's what the replay told me. Anyway, it looks like Lazy going to be moving out his first four starting drones. This is always a good tactic if you want to win Protoss vs. Zerg. Um, now, uh, no, actually, I'll, I'll wait till the end of the game before I say that, because it's kind of a... Not really spoilery, just kind of sad on my part. Um, there I am. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yes, Juno sent me this replay again. He seems to be the only one doing that. Come on, guys, step your game up. And uh, he, basically, he said this was a pretty fun game. And, well, I don't know how this could last very long, considering, well, Lazy has two drones mining. And... The pool's already up, that looked like a, a 10 pool, maybe an over pool, something like that. Um, Overlord for Lazy, uh, Juno even, going to be going in the right direction, and Lazy, while uh, not picking the best strategy, he also picked the worst direction to scout in, because, well, it's not where Juno is. So the probes are going to be making their way into the base now, they're going to be trying to zap away at that drone. Oh, look out, look out, probe. One probe going to be going down, three left. That's three probes remaining against uh, 903. Um, I don't think there's much. Oh, there's going to be a creep colony going down. I don't know if that's really needed. Um, spawning pool just finished. One pair of zerglings coming out. That, that'd probably be enough, really. That'd be enough. You don't really need two. Well, there's no kill like overkill. Um... Overlord just going to be now making his way into uh, Lazy's main. Another Overlord heading up. Three probe probes are going to be zapping away at that assimilator for some reason. Ooh, that was a close one for that drone. It was one hit away, and it looks like it's going to be a 14 hatch. Here come the Zerglings. These probes are pretty much not any use. I, uh, I'm, I'm interested as to what Lazy was really going for then. He's, he's putting up a pylon. Um, Juno, leaving his lings at home, he could be putting on amazing amounts of pressure with those lings. There's only six probes. That is six probes. One of them's not doing anything. He's actually going for a six gateway, ladies and gentlemen. A six gateway. That is not a, uh, a six gate. Oh, <laughs> funny strat Rudy. Um, I'm going to assume that that is his name. Six Zerglings. Six? Yeah, six. I can count. Six Zerglings going to be going halfway across the map and back again. And that's eight. And the gateway, about three quarters done. A few more probes coming along. Gas going up. Uh, natural. Eh, fairly close. Looks like Ling's going to be making a move here. That looks like about eight or ten. They are going to be attacking this... Assimilator, for some reason, and, okay, I'm not quite sure what the point of that was, but uh, he did in fact make a sunken, so uh, he is going to be protected from any kind of one zealot play, uh, the other Assimilator going to be going down, for some reason, oh, a third expansion coming up for Juno, and his natural, uh, he's getting, he's saturating it, he's, he's getting there. Um, not really doing too much. I guess he's just waiting for either speed or lair. The assimilator did go down. There are a bunch of probes and one zealot. The zealot does go down. These probes are going to try and make it back to the mineral line. I don't think they're going to be doing much. These lings are having the time of their life. One more zealot is coming out. It's about halfway. A little bit more. And the zergling is going to be focusing down this pylon. This is a key move because, uh, well, this build was kind of fucking retarded. Um... <laughs> No, actually, I shouldn't say that. It was it was it was interesting. Two zerglings remaining, and it looks like that uh, Lazy will actually be able to defeat this 
No, it's gonna be really close. Oh, the oh the pylon just goes down. Oh man. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. That was amazing timing. <laughs> no matter. I'll just build another one. <laughs> He's only supply blocked. Um, third expansion done. Uh. I'm not quite sure what a uh, what he's doing here. It looks like some kind of five hatch play. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't think we're going to see a fifth hatchery anytime soon. Um, what's there? What's what are you doing there, drones? Get back to work. Second gas coming up. And uh, I wonder if you can actually do these. Do these have? Okay, no, they don't have gas in them. Um, looks like, uh, yeah, not really much happening. People talking about proxy. I don't know what they're on about. I don't see any proxy in this game. Cybercore coming down. It's kind of delayed. Generally, you want to get your Cybercore at around, uh, 14 supply. Um, we'll get back to that. Two the zealots. Uh, just kind of hanging at the, the main door, you know. Trying to stop any zergling run bys that may or may not happen. Uh, six minutes and a half into the game, and it isn't over yet. This is actually quite surprising. Um, yeah, good old uh, me having things to talk about, eh? Looks like a hydralisk den coming up. A hydralisk den, mate. Oh god, I'm so generically Australian. Uh, no speed, I don't think, yet, but, uh, it's probably a good thing, because he doesn't have any Zerglings. Um, actually, he has a lot of gas, he probably could have made a Spire and gotten Mutalisks, wow. Boy, am I good at this. Uh, fifth hatchery coming down, three drones just kind of sitting there, you know, they're, they're on a break at the moment. Uh, third pylon, and, um... Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, and another probe. And... Yeah, well, this game is a uh, pretty crazy, I should say, at the moment. Uh, that looks like... It's Overlord Speed? I can't remember the uh, what they look like. I'm fairly sure that's Overlord Speed. Uh, if it's not, then tell me in the comments, or send me an email about it while you're also sending me your replays, because replays are cool, fluffytoastj at gmail.com. I kind of feel like day nine when I'm plugging myself for the Shorty Awards. Oh, by the way, uh, go to shortyawards.com, I don't even know if that's the right thing, but whatever. Go to, get her a Twitter account and vote for me on the Shorty Awards, because, you know, I'm in the running for that. That looks like half a trillion Hydras just kind of hanging out at the front door there for Juno. Uh, Stargate coming up. I, I saw that earlier. I just chose not to talk about it for some reason. Um, a scout. A scout's going to be coming out, ladies and gentlemen. A scout. Oh boy, this is... <laughs> oh, this is an amazing game. A Hydralisk Range coming out. Uh, I'm fairly sure that's Overlord Speed. Fairly sure. Two Evo Chambers. Three Evo Chambers, whoa. Getting some mass upgrades there. Um, and Hydra's going to be moving out. But uh, fortunately for Lazy, he has a scout. Or oh, he will have a scout, hopefully, in time. If not, well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Looks like the Hydra's going to be pushing here towards the front door, but um, because of this, uh, this choke, this gas geyser choke, the Hydra's are going to be retarded and not path properly, so... That's probably one of the reasons you don't see this map as much, is because it's broken pathing. Scout is out, it's going to be taking pot shots at this Overlord, which is probably the only thing Scouts are good at. Um, a robo facility coming down, that's always good if you want to get uh, Reavers at 9 minutes into the game. 